Hello friends, today we will see what is anti-arrhythmic, what are anti-arrhythmic drugs. So before starting this, I would like to recommend you the previous video ECG and Purkinje fibers. Please refer those videos so that you will get the clear ideas about phase 1, phase 2, phase 0, phase 3 and phase 4. So now we will see what are anti-arrhythmic drugs. So there are 4 classes, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4. Class 1 is also known as membrane stabilizing agents. This mostly blocks the sodium channel. These are sodium channel blockers. Class 2 drugs are beta blockers. Class 3 drugs are potassium channel blockers. Class 4 drugs are calcium channel blocker. So now first we will see class 1 drugs. So the class 1 drugs are divided into 3 types 1A, 1B, 1C. 1A drugs acts on open state sodium channels. 1B drugs act on closed state sodium channel. And class C drugs are potent sodium channel blocker. This act on open and closed. So the classification was given by the scientist Vaughan William. So the first class, class 1, under which we will see 1A, quinidine. So the dextroisomer of quinidine is used as antiarrhythmic and levoisomer is used as antimalarial. So it decreases anti-vagal action, it increases ERP, PR interval and broadens QRS complex. It also inhibits, in, if it is given in high concentration, it inhibits a type of calcium channel. It decreases BP. It, uh, it has the drug interaction, various drug interaction, BVDT. So B means beta blocker, B means verapamil, decoxin and diuretics. So this was all about quinidine. So the second drug is procainamide. Procainamide also increases ERP, QT, QRS. The metabolism of this drug takes place by acetylation. And the metabolite form is NAPA, N-acetyl procainamide. The adverse effect of this drug is torsed day points, that is twisting of muscles. And the long term use is recommended for the treatment of systemic lupus erythromatous. And it is also used for the treatment of ventricular tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, wolf parkinson white syndrome. Now the third drug that is disopyramide. So it is the second line of drug for ventricular arrhythmia. It decreases cardiac depression and decrease in cholinergic activity. It increases PR and it less broadens QRS complex. Now we will see class 1B. These are acting on inactivated state or closed state sodium channel. The first drug is lidocaine. So it inhibits phase 4 depolarization. It suppresses ectopic foci. It decreases QT. It is used for the treatment of ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. It has the drug interaction with propranolol and simetidine. This both increases the T half 
of lidocaine second drug of this class is mexilatin only one important thing we have to remember it is given parenterally for pisma that is post infraction sinusoidal ventricular arrhythmia this is drug of choice for pisma it is given in parenteral form it is mostly used rather than lidocaine okay and the third drug of this class is phenantoin now we will see the drug of class 1c so the first drug is this is most potent class of drugs which acts on sodium channel so the first drug is propafenone propafenone is used for the treatment of ventricular arrhythmia ventricular tachycardia sinus rhythm the metabolism of this drug is expressed by cyp2d6 and if cyp2d6 inhibitors are interacted with propafenone we will get increase in action of propafenone and the example of cyp2d6 inhibitors are fluoxetin which is an ssri second drug of this class is flecainide it delays the recovery of sodium channel it suppresses ventricular arrhythmia wolff parkinson white syndrome ventricular fibrillation sorry uh, 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 atrial fibrillation ventricular exasystole post post supraventricular tachycardia so we have seen class 1a class 1b class 1c the drugs which were in class 1a are qpd quinidin procainamide disopiramide mpl mexilitin lidocaine and phenantoin 1c is pf that is propafenone and flecainide now we will see class 2 drugs so the class 2 drugs are beta blockers this decreases the phase 4 this also decreases the adrenergic activity the first drug of this class is propranolol the first drug of this class is propranolol propranolol increases erp increases pr decreases cardiac contractility decreases bp and it is mostly used for the treatment of sinus tachycardia wolff parkinson white syndrome and also for ventricular tachycardia it is less effective for psvt than adenosine and verapamil the second drug of this class is sotalol these are mostly contraindicated in which these are mostly contraindicated in the patients which have long qt interval and the third drug is ismolol this is used in emergency of atrial fibrillation it is quick acting and short acting class 3 drugs so class 3 are potassium channel blocker so the first drug under this class is amiodarone so amiodarone blocks potassium channel it also blocks sodium channel it also blocks calcium channel it the most important is the adverse effect of this drug which is pulmonary alveolosis and fibrosis the interactions is with dicoxin and warfarin this both drugs reduces the amiodarin reduces the renal clearance of this both drugs now we will see class 4 drugs so class 4 drugs are calcium channel blocker 
there are two types dhp non dhp so dhp is dihydropyridines these are acting on blood vessels now why i wrote non like this is because these are acting on heart that is sa node and ab node so the firing to the sa node is decreased by non dhp and the conduction is also decreased on ab node by non dhp so this both leads to decrease in heart rate so now we will see the first drug under this class that is verapamil verapamil inhibits l type calcium channel verapamil decreases phase 4 increases erp pr and also verapamil inhibits inotropic action what is inotropic that is force of contraction force of contraction is decreased what are the drugs which are acting for the treatment of psvt that is post supraventricular tachycardia so the first drug is adenosine it stimulates potassium channel it inhibits sodium and calcium channel adenosine is formed by 5 amp plus inosine if we inject atp in blood it will convert into adenosine dipyridamol dipyridamol is class 1a drug which inhibits reuptake of adenosine adenosine receptor is blocked by caffeine or theophen thank you to so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट